Hello everyone, uh, this is Marco Esposito, Managing Director of Cosign Remote Sensing. Today we have with us uh, Paolo Martino, Deputy Mission Manager uh, for RERA. And um, um, we have here Isa and Paolo because there is a very important milestone for, uh, for the HERA mission and for the Hyperscout instrument that will be mounted uh, on the main spacecraft for this mission. Today we have uh, a key inspection point uh, before actually getting to environmental testing. So it's a very special moment uh, for us, but also for ESA, because this is one of the checks where we really make sure that what we have put together is good enough for withstanding you know, the environmental conditions that will actually take place during the, 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 the travel to the asteroid and then the actual operational missions. So Paolo is here with us, thanks for coming today. Thank you, Marco. It's a pleasure for me to be here today and see the huge amount of work that has been put together by the teams of Cosine and in the last months. Having hyperspectral measurement can significantly contribute to our characterization of asteroid. Specific to the HERA mission, this can help uh, on two main aspects. Uh, the first is uh, it will help us to determine the composition of the asteroid. So the material uh, that compose the asteroid. You know that we are visiting an asteroid uh, that has received uh, an impact from the NASA DART mission. So in this sense, uh, the impact uh, generated a crater with uh, a huge uh, distribution of material. And having hyperspectral measurement uh, will help uh, to understand exactly the dynamics of the impact, so where all the materials has gone, and this is uh, fundamental uh, for the modeling of the impact physics and therefore to understand uh, well the technique of uh, impacting asteroid and deflecting asteroid, allowing us to understand how this can be used in the future in case of need. Hyperscout and the hyperspectral technology at COSINE actually comes already from planetary science. We have been developing uh, uh, integration and utilization of payloads in the past, specifically for planetary science. Uh, we have been looking together with the space agency already into scenarios like Jupiter, like Mercury, where spectral measurements uh, were really important for characterizing these, these planets. And um, starting from there, we have developed uh, Hyperscout, also with collaboration with the space agency uh, PEC, but also uh, earth observation programs and indeed we got quite uh, a good market share for this kind of instruments for uh, for this kind of applications so for looking at the earth for looking at what are the problems we are facing with in terms of environment but also for early detection early warning hyperscout is a perfect instrument to actually help uh, people on ground to act fast and to to prevent let's say measure damages from uh, uh, events like fire, like flooding, and also climate change and adapt adaptability of plants and agriculture is something we also tackle with our instruments. Now with, uh, with HERA and with the, the planetary defense part, we uh, are really happy and honored to be part of this mission because uh, one, we can help indeed the, the, the understanding how to protect our planet from, uh, from indeed any element asteroids that are on the trajectory to Earth. And secondly, we see for the future more missions like this. The commercial part is also become interesting for uh, asteroid mining, um, uh, but also in general, uh, many commercial parties or private parties are looking to missions to, to, to search life in the universe. So it's not only anymore institutional, but becomes also part of the commercial part of the world for which we are engaged with a few partners. So we are sitting here in front of the Hyperscout H that in October next year will fly on board the ESA HERA mission. Today, together with the COSINE team, we reached an important milestone. Uh, we successfully closed the instrument, which is now ready to undergo acceptance testing. So in the next weeks, we'll be subject to the harsh environment that we'll encounter during the mission to confirm that it can sustain the environment of the mission and uh, it's always amazing to see how a relatively small piece of equipment contains such advanced technology and is the result of the hard work around the clock for weeks and months and for some even years of countless scientists and engineers which are all working together from different countries all over Europe to contribute to make the HERA mission a success and to help understand now we can defend our planet from asteroids. 